Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 23rd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button at the bottom to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at ARK Innovation, and as you can see, we have dropped uh, roughly 1% today. We have been rallying the last three days up towards the 150, and now we are basically uh, pulling back a bit. We're approaching the middle of the bullish band, so getting denied here, that basically could lower this back towards 115 at the basically bottom of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is still very low and technically bullish at this point. The CCI is bearish and the stochastic is bullish as well. So if we manage to break above the 150, then we could go and retarget these highs here of 133. Otherwise, we could drop back towards the very lows, roughly 113. So let's look at DVI. So DVI has rallied up towards the 20 exponential, got rejected there, and now we are heading probably back towards the 150 moving average. So we got really rejected at the middle of the bullish band, and that is not a good sign. So main main reason why we rallied here is because we really sold off, rallied, and now we're basically getting denied again. And if we drop here, we could drop another 2.3% to the downside. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is in bearish territory, but crossing the signal line at this current stage. So we, if this drops, then we are approaching the bottom of the bullish band fairly soon, so it could be very choppy indeed. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has also got also really overstretched, bounced, and now we're trading just above uh, the way above the 20 exponential moving average, and it's looking very bullish indeed. We're up only 0.08% today, and did fall and then recovered, and that's a very good sign at this current stage. If we manage to take out these highs here of roughly 226, then we're probably going towards 230. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, as the RSI is flat, CCI is, being, is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. So we have bounce from the middle of the bullish band, and that's a very bullish sign indeed. So let's look at MCHI. So MCHI has uh, had a really good day yesterday. Today, not so much. We were trading at 77, and we were down roughly with 0. Uh, 0.1%. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is technically bearish at this point. So this has been struggling. Um, it has not managed to break above the middle of the bullish band. Every time we get close, it, it basically breaks down at this point. And uh, if we get rejected again, then it will may well be that we will test 75 again. So look, let's look at IVB. So IVB has had three really strong days after uh, uh, testing the support level here at the 50 moving average. And we basically rallied roughly 3.05%. And um, at that point, we hit the bottom of the bullish band and then we bounced. So if we manage to take out the highs here of 140, then we're probably going to 145 and 150. If we look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, the RSI is flat, CCI is bullish, and the stochastic is bullish as well. We're approaching the top of the bullish band and also this uh, where it's a level of 140 and break above that, then should make a much uh, higher, bigger move to the upside. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button at the bottom to see our news videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.